Hello, all traders. Welcome to Sassan FX One channel. We are starting a new year, 2022. And uh, I want to present you a very simple system, uh, how you can do it uh, step by step. And let me show you uh, what it is you have to do. It's a very simple system. I'm just writing here, simple system. What you need to do is you have to uh, have the control on the fundamental uh, check. Uh, you have to identify the strong or the weak pair, very important. Um, you have to mark the valid support and resistance levels. You don't need to put 150 lines on the chart, only two or three valid zones. You have to mark them. And I tell you how you can find out where they are in this program, all free to use, okay? But you have to master this. When you do it, practice it for one month, two months, you master that, okay? Or three months, <laughs> all right? Entry, best entry moments. If you can enter in the London session, opening times is the best. Maybe half an hour before, you have to check it. Best time frame, I think it's a one edge for confirmation. I tell you what I mean by that. And um, let's begin right here and i will tell you as an example on euro usd what's going on fundamental check you have to have a uh, currency string meter type to tell you what pair is uh, strong what pair is uh, weak in the bottom you can see gbp is the strongest today aussie is the strongest top two strongest pairs today right now forex is you know is not uh, something that you say, okay, if GBP is strong right now, so it's strong all the way in all sessions tomorrow, next week. No, it's right now you're talking, okay? And the weakest right now in the London session is GBP and USD in the bottom. Okay, this is the check I mean to check the fundamental check. Okay, so we have found out the GBP and the Aussie are the strongest, USD and GBP are the weakest. So its next step is we have to uh, decide which pair we want to trade. Okay, then I see that the GBP is strong, GJ is weak. So I can say, okay, I can trade with GJ or GBP, JPY today and uh, i can just buy it all right but i have to check before i want to buy if it's a valid buy all right okay let's go to gbp jpy as an example right now this is a gbp jpy which currently right now i am buying okay i'm buying it and i will tell you why i bought it what's the next step so the first step was the fundamental check. You have to have the backup. You have to have the strong guys behind you. You have to have your crew behind you to attack this market. You cannot just blindly choose something. You know what I mean? You have to have a strategy. This is my strategy. You can follow it. It's very straightforward. It's not 100% rigid. It's flexible, but this is the first part, fundamental check, okay? Second part is mark the valid support and resistance at the levels. This is a very complex topic. Many people doesn't know exactly what to do here, okay? I am talking about a very fundamental thing, support and resistance. But what I'm saying is I am marking a valid support and resistance which i think is at the levels i will tell you why and what is um, that i mean by this first of all i usually do this in one hourly time frame i don't do this uh some um, i don't find my levels in five minute chart or 15 i do it in one edge okay and the reason for that is one edge is a very nice time frame to show the market's flow this is gj and you can see that the currently price were in the uptrend making higher highs 
and higher highs and higher highs. But yesterday, the market was totally collapsing here, okay, and broke this lower structure here to the downside. And it, it's, it's a tricky part here that many traders maybe think that this will make a retest and carry on. That's why I say the fundamentals are very important. Right now here, fundamentals have tricked many people to think that this will carry on lower. Price come down, violate the lower part of this structure and stop here and back up. You can't trust always these uh, kind of moves. It was a nice move yesterday to the downside. Yesterday, GBP was weak, but today, GBP is strong. Okay, so we have found out that the GBP is strong. Japan is weak. So let's find out the levels. Right now, I'm standing in the one hour time frame. Listen carefully to what you, are, you have to do. You have to mark the levels. What levels? When the price is here, you look that way to the left side. You have to find the recent voice that had pop up to your eyes. This one, the one, and this low is the other one. So I mark this zone right here. The top of this week, the low of the high of this body here. So this is the zone. This is the strong, important zone for me right here. Another one is here, right here. The low of this week, and I stretched it, you can see what happens here. Price come to it, couldn't go lower than this week, and then reject back, okay? So, what is happening is that in the London session 15 minute chart, you can see that the price in the London session come all the way to this uh, resistance point here. Had a very hard time to really go down. What price did here come all the way up and violate and broke the high of this section. And this is when the support and resistance for me is valuable. But he's telling me that, hey, this resistance is weak and it's no longer can holding this price. When this key resistance is broken, and my fundamentals are telling me that GBP is at the top and is strong, so this is the second confirmation. I have the break of the top. This was a perfect entry level here. This is a, actually the sniper one at, at this area. But the thing is that two factors coming together First of all, the fundamental check. Second of all, the support and resistance in the valid key zone. This is the valid key zone. Look left. Here, what happened? Price were pushing up, stopped. Down, pushing up, stop, pushing down, stopped here at the zone, at the level. There are no exact price you have to look for. And you look here and you say, okay, it's 155, 9. 32, it's right here you have to bounce. No, it's a zone of the prices. From this top of this week, which I have explained in the one hourly exactly what you have to look for, the top of this week and the low of this part, this is your zone. Price pushing up to it. And in this box right here, you have to be alert. What is going on? And why I say one hourly time frame? What I mean by that is, when you have this white bearish candle here, one hourly, you can see the second one here failed, right here, is hammered. If we had a um, white bearish candle, which looked like that, coming here, and almost engulfed this candle here, I will sell the GJ 100% in this situation, okay? But the situation is, price come down here. Can you see this wick? Push all the way up, strongly engulf 
these two candles and the high of these weeks is going up okay right now i'm gaining 23 Heps right here price showing no sign of reversal or weakness it's just shooting up all right i'm keeping it right now and uh this is why i bought the gj let's have a look at the gbp usd gbp usd in one hourly time frame looking like this there is our key support and resistance or the zones that we can use for this price price were here somewhere here at this area you have to look left what do we have you have this high to the low to the high so if we stretch here something like this that this price is hold here this price is holding pushing up coming to it pushing up coming to it reject this is a fake and here price dive to it and the momentum kicks in here this is very very obvious because this support which is valid right here it has a memory for the traders traders are looking at this zone the okay we have been here something happened here something happened here and something happened here too and so that's why these things happen when the price get close to these zones and then rejects very heavily back it's because it has a memory all right another thing was the entry that i am about to tell you best entry moments are the london session opening times or in the u.s session opening times okay uh, why i use one edge confirmation time frame because one edge time frame in the daily uh, trading for scalping uh, will filter out many uh, many things uh, in your mind what i mean by that is when the price is is bearish coming to this zone to this support zone i don't get my confirmation for entry in five minutes reverse when when does this uh, area is reversing i want to get it in one edge time frame this is my first one edge candle the second one which has violated the high of this week is my entry right here look here price is coming up all the way we have one bearish candle here and when this uh, bearish candle going low and gets the low of this week this is the entry right here you can see this last bearish candle it's taken out by this bullish candle right away here but this one hourly candle here that's why i use one hour candle for my confirmation to get uh, the feeling that i am able to enter the market because the five minute 15 minute or 30 minute is not as strong as one hourly because the reversal normally take time you can see price coming down it took half an hour here to turn up or here half an hour here two hours here three hours here half an hour you understand what i mean okay so this is my method it's very simple and i hope you can use it try to um, firstly find your strongest and weakest pair okay second draw mark your uh, valid support and resistance in one hourly time frame and wait to see what does the price is doing right to this support and resistance zones it's a bit tricky to enter the market in the middle of these two zones either strike at the resistance or at the support you can see here resistance failed so i bought it doesn't mean oh resistance failed what shall i do yeah when the resistance failed you have to buy it if the resistance keep it you have to sell it that's it very easy i hope you like uh, this uh, simple system uh, this video and you have burned something um, don't try to focus much on indicators 
indicators uh, are just there to, uh, to show you something. They don't tell you the direction. These two points that I told you is the main key. If the pair is weak, it's, go it's going down. If the pair is strong, it's going up. But how you enter, I have told you the method by these levels of support and resistance, how you can use and This is how I do it. Uh, and uh, I hope you like this. If you like this uh, video, thumb it up, subscribe to my channel, please. And write down in the comment section if you do the same or uh, what you think about this method. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.